Hello, and welcome to the Nature Journal Connection. I'm your host, John Muirlaws. Today, we're going to take a look at how to use landscape sketches and drawings to help you pay more attention to the place you're in, make your memories more vivid, and to help you notice details about the landscape around you that you otherwise would not have seen. The first trick is to make your landscape drawings smaller. That's right, smaller. We've seen lots of really large format paintings and drawings of landscapes, so a lot of people think that when you're doing a landscape, it's big, so I should go big. I disagree. If you make your drawing really big, you're going to be drawing trees for the rest of your natural life. Partway through that, you're going to be like, I'm really sick of drawing trees. But if you make your sketches smaller, ooh, all right, then what happens is you can boop, 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 quickly fill in an area, there are your trees, and then you're on to the next thing. So you're, the people you're walking with, the people you're exploring with, they don't have to wait around for this landscape to get done. You don't get tired of doing the drawing either, and you don't get sore from your bottom sitting on top of a sharp rock while you're doing your drawing. You can crank these things out in five, ten minutes. The second technique is related to the first. Because you're going smaller, you can't put in as much detail. So keep these sketches simple. Look at your landscape and say, like, what are the major things that I want to show in this? And show those. But there's a lot of other detail that you're not going to be able to get into this sketch. First of all, it's smaller. So in that tight little area, you can't do everything. But also, it's impossible to show everything that's out here. So be selective. Show what is interesting to you. Show what you want to remember. If there is some distant little detail that is really exciting to you, you can make another little sketch just of that spot and say, look, right out here on this point, there was a lighthouse. Isn't that cool? And here's a little sketch of it. But if you put detail throughout the entire drawing, it's going to take a lot of time. It's going to feel crowded. And also it's going to flatten out your picture. Visually, when people look at it, we see detail as things that are closer to us. So if I'm putting a whole bunch of detail into things that are way back there, then it'll feel like in the drawing they're much closer, and that's going to flatten out the sketch. So be selective with your detail. The third technique is to write on and around these landscape sketches. In all the other stuff we're doing in our nature journal, we're using words and pictures and numbers together. So why not these landscape sketches as well? You're going to find that when you start writing around the edges or writing notes and then drawing a little line to where that connects in the picture, or even writing words directly on top of the landscape sketch, these rocks were pale orange. The amount of detail, the amount of information that you can get on that page goes way up and your ability to show the interesting features of that place goes way up. The other thing that happens the moment you start adding those words on is your stress about having to make a pretty picture goes down, 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 down. So keep it small, keep it simple, and add those written notes in. Let's look at how this can appear on the pages of a journal and how to take several of these little landscape studies and put them together to give you a really rich sense of place.
you can try making a set of four interlocking landscape sketches that show the north, the east, the south, and the west. Even if you don't have a compass, you can pick the four most interesting views from wherever you're sitting. You put these together and it gets you looking up and all around and will help embed any place in your memory. Your nature journaling challenge this week is to add some of these landscape studies to your journal work. If you're out, perhaps drawing a plant or a bird, well, also back up, take in the big picture, and show the environment that you find it in. Or if you see a landscape feature that you're interested in, try one of these little simple studies to record the information and the things that you notice about it. This allows us not just to be able to draw things life-size, but to be able to get something as grand as El Capitan in our nature journal. You'll find that this process is going to open your eyes to details that you otherwise would have missed, and the memories that you create by including these in your journal will be with you forever. And until next time, this is your Nature Journal Connection. Doo -doo -doo.